The song Build Your Church by Elevation Worship and Maverick City is a great tune to learn. And for us as keyboard players, our job in this uh, is, is important. And this is one of those songs that really um, can play to your strengths as a keyboard player and uh, kind of it can meet everybody where you are. You know, if you've got a lot of skill, you can add a lot more notes. If uh, you don't have as much skill as a keyboard player, you can kind of settle back. And uh, the keyboard is really um, the main instrument in this song, especially starting at the top of the tune and then moving throughout. And uh, this is one of those songs that allows a lot of interpretation as a keyboard player. So uh, the way they do it on the recording may be different than the way I might play it live, and that might be a little different than the way that you play it live, and that's okay. This isn't one of those songs that's got these main lead lines that you just have to nail every single time. Um, there are some key little uh, melodies that you hear that you definitely need to play, but you don't have to feel like you have to play it just like the album. In fact, if I were playing this live, I probably would start off with the amount of rhythm that the keyboard player adds, but then once the rest of the band kicks in, especially once the acoustic guitar player kicks in, I probably wouldn't have as much rhythm. I'd kind of settle back and kind of pulse on the, uh, the dominant beats and that sort of thing. So again, uh, this song is really nice because it can just play to your strengths as a keyboard player. If you've got a lot of skill, if you've got you know less skill, uh, it kind of just meets you where you are. And so. Uh, Definitely, uh, this is a fun tune to learn. Again, it's not very difficult. Uh, we are in 6-8, and so that can kind of be a challenge for some people, especially if you're trying to subdivide. And if you find that a challenge, just kind of take a step back and uh, just pulse your chords. We're in the key of A, which makes it a lot easier than if it were in the key of, say, B or D flat or something like that. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and jump in, get your rig set up, and let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So again, we just have E to F sharp minor, D, A, D over F sharp to E, and then it repeats. And on this one, we go to F sharp, we walk down to D, back to A. Now, you'll see in like the second chorus, we do the same thing again. You can change up your version. note on this. I'm going to pause. So in the um, loop video, I keep it in time. But they actually um, kind of stretch this time and almost make it um, a sub kind of a, uh, a three over four or four over three kind of feel. So instead of it being a one, two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five. That would be in time with the click versus notice the difference it's more of like a straight four kind of feel versus so you can kind of see how that works and then back to a and then it takes us into the tag, which we've already learned. We do that four times, and then it takes us into our bridge, which we'll look at in a second. 